And as we look ahead to next Saturday's election for local races across Texoma, citizens in Vernon are making a decision on who will lead the city. Dylan Jimenez visited with both mayoral candidates. He joins us now. And Dylan, they've served together on the city commission, what, for about three years? Yeah, that's right, Dale. And incumbent Pam Gawson is seeking a second term while current Precinct 4 City Commissioner Dustin Fraticelli is looking to unseat her. Early voting is underway in Texoma. On the ballot in Vernon, residents are casting votes to either re-elect Pam it's, Gosselin or current Precinct 4 City Commissioner Dustin Fraticelli. This is home for me. I'm taking our good core family values, our community values, and bringing it right back to the city. I really feel like if the citizens of Vernon get out and vote, I feel good about the election. If re-elected, Gosselin remains on track for continued growth for the city, implementing a strategic plan with city commissioners. A plan not touched in about 10 years when she took office in 2020. We have five points that we all focus on, and some of them is like our, our infrastructure, uh, enhancing quality of life, maximizing our financials. Though not in Vernon, Fred Aselli says the hydrogen plant helps bring growth and he can continue growth to better prepare the city if elected. Taking a very proactive approach to making sure that our citizens are safe and that we can, t uh, we can um, flourish during the construction. Both bring a passion and love for the city. I don't do this because I have to. I do this because I want to. I, I, I do not get paid. I do not have a salary. I just want to give back to Vernon. I'm sitting here because I want to be a voice for our community. I feel like our voices are sometimes ignored and our citizens need to have a voice. Now voters decide who they want to lead the city. Voters can vote until April 30th at the Wilbarger Auditorium. For more on this May election, just head over to TexasOnePage.com. All right, Dylan, we sure do appreciate that story. Thank you so much.